management on how they see India and the opportunities that lie here. But with that, let's move on to some national news coming in. The government has called an all-party meeting today, this ahead of the winter session of the parliament that is scheduled to begin tomorrow. So the opposition is expected to discuss several issues at the meeting, including price hikes, the Indo-China relations, as well as the alleged misuse of the ED and CBI and intrusion of the centre in judicial matters. So all of these are likely to be on the table. Now, the government also plans to push for the passage of 16 bills during this session. Remember, later today, the meeting of the Rajya Sabha's Business Advisory Committee is also likely to be held. So those are some important, uh, you know, uh, events that we are tracking through the day to day. The next big queue that we're all waiting for is that the voting for the 182 seat Gujarat Assembly this closed last evening and the exit polls now indicate that the BJP is likely to continue its dominance in Gujarat with all pollsters indicating over 120 seats for the ruling party. The BJP's dominance, however, may not extend to Himachal Pradesh. Now, the poll indicates a much closer race with both the BJP as well as the Congress likely to be near that 35 seat mark. The results of both of these elections, like we've been pointing out, will be announced on the 8th of December and that is something that we're all waiting by for to see how um, you know the election results pan out in both of these states of Gujarat as well as Himachal Pradesh but with that we are going to get into uh, another short break on this show when we come